Hey all you cool cats and kittens. I'm Bjorn Anderson and I played Michael Garner. Hi there. I'm Jonathan Miles and I play Justin Johnson. Hi, my name is Beth Dodge and I play Brooke Zimmerman in the feature film More Than Only. Hi, my name is Maggie McKenzie and I play Mandy Garner Johnson. I'm Gina Summers and I play Cynthia Johnson. I'm Dennis Wells and I played Greg Johnson in the movie More Than Only. Justin is a... Uh... He's a free spirit. <laughs> He's kind of childish, um, but I think he holds back on growing up because he doesn't want to grow up in a world where his parents won't accept him for who he is. Brooke is just your kind-hearted girl from an average middle-class family who's got an open and accepting mind. He's a successful business person. He's more inclined to worry about position and who he, who he is and his appearances. He certainly cares more about what others might think of him than how his son might feel. Mandy is Justin and Michael's daughter, and you see them playing on the beach in the last scene. She really follows along with what her husband wants her to do. And in fact, I felt like she didn't have a lot of lines in the movie, which made total sense because I think in, in her own life, she would be a very voiceless person. Michael's a registered nurse, and he likes to play the piano at a local piano bar on the weekends and starts a relationship with a lovable, wonderful goofball. <laughs> you know, growing up means that he has to face the world alone without the support of his family of origin. But um, he has a really nice chosen family of good friends in college. And when he meets Michael, he starts to think it's possible to grow up and get happy at the same time. She is a theater major. And her and Justin actually met their freshman year of college in the Acting 101 class when they were paired together as scene partners. And they've been inseparable ever since. And so I tried to portray a little bit of the conflict I thought I felt in her too. Like there was just a little piece of her that wanted to do the right thing, but maybe she just wasn't strong enough. Basically, he's the exact opposite of who I am in real life. So my method for this character was simply to react in a totally different way than I would. In the end, this is a rom-com format and lovers need to be lovers and villains need to be villains. So that's how we played that. 